Hey, what's going on, everyone? James Nineups here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I'm going to be going over week 11 of. Is it week 11 now? I, I forget. Yeah, it's week 11 of Big Brother 24. And, um. Yeah. Let's, without further ado, let's actually get started. Because I don't know what else to say. So, anyways, after Taylor won HOH, Taylor is trying to figure out basically who in the hell voted for her in the last eviction ceremony as you all know this the previous eviction was a one-to-one -one tie between taylor and Alyssa, and monty had to break the tie to send Alyssa out the door and so turner and Brittany ended up th trying to throw each other in the bus and um britney was the one who voted for taylor and so turner was pissed at Brittany, and so they went at it against each other for a good while you know in order to, because they really, because their relation, because Taylor is going to decide their fate. He, she ends up deciding to put them, put them both on the block because she has a good relationship with Monty. They became a showmance for a while. Yes, they did indeed become a showmance for a while. And as you all see, I'll, I'll explain what happened later. And, um, Despite all that what happened, Taylor wants to keep Brittany in because Turner has become a big threat in the game. Turner has a really good shot at winning, and so she, Taylor really, really wants to take the shot. Even though Brittany was the one who backstabbed Taylor, but um, yeah, Brittany felt very distant from Taylor, so that's kind of why she voted against her. And it didn't really matter as much because the power of veto was the most important important um competition and it's also the last power of veto competition of the season and so yeah it was like a competition where they had to rise what events ha happened at which days and then hey, they had to add them all up to the right number and monty ended up winning that one and so as a result monty secured his spot at the final three along with taylor and so it was mainly between Turner and Brittany on who is going to compete for that final spot. And, um, and speaking of which, Monty and Taylor's relationships had basically been, been blown up due to some instances about uh, involving Monty and Taylor, such as headphone gay, where Taylor took Monty's headphones off while he was asleep, and apparently along with some issues of involving family, but, and Monty also mentioned previous statements about Taylor as evidence for her quote-unquote messed up actions. Yeah, Big Brother fans are not happy about that, to say the least. And, um, yeah, it's even gotten so bad that even Brittany has called Monty out for his actions. And, um, yeah, Monty had... Apparently, Monty ended up getting emotional. We didn't see that in the live episode, but... We, but, um... Apparently he did break down. Yeah, we also I think I oh yeah, and Turner also ended up breaking down as well at some point for a for a separate situation as well. I think it may have something to do with Brittany, maybe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, Brittany Taylor felt very betrayed by Monty, and I think and I don't think this will become a real showmance anymore. And um, yeah, apparently. Whatever happened with the whole Michael and Taylor, no, Michael and Terrence situation, apparently Terrence is back in the jury. We did not see a fight during the jury segment, so I don't know what was up with that. But, anyways, yeah. And Brittany tried a last ditch attempt in order to save herself and try to get Turner out, but unfortunately, Monty voted to evict Brittany because Turner was just better for Monty's game. And the final three became Taylor versus Turner versus Monty. Wow. This was a final three. I, that, yeah, that's kind of basically about it, really. There's not really much to summarize. But um, I want to talk about each of the candidates, each of the three for a minute. Taylor has, like, a big, has a, an amazing underdog story. She, I think out of everyone in the final three, she is the most deserving to win. Monty played a really good game he's playing the best well-rounded game though he is he does have some questions that he owes answers to not as much as other people but he definitely has his own share and turner he was in the running but 
for the for the win, but um, his gameplay, his social game in particular, just not the best. But I think Turner might be able to still win. I think I still think Turner has a shot, but not as much as a few weeks ago. So, oh yeah, and oh yeah, Julie also re- held an interview with the Cookout, and they talked about Kyle and whatever. And you can actually vote for America's favorite house guest online now, which um. Let me show you real quick. Um, you can you can actually vote for. Uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, so yeah, you guys can actually vote for who to be who's who is to become America's favorite house guest of the season online now. I will send that website and this link in the description below. All you need to do is click log in, and um, you will be given up to ten votes where you ten votes that you can decide how to distribute however you want. And um, all you have to do is click vote, and you will be given like a screen of their face and how many votes you want. You can go press, go click on plus to go up, go on minus to click down. And uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you guys because um, I already voted. So yeah, I placed some of my votes on Taylor. Yeah, but I also placed some on Turner, Michael, along with Joseph as well. And uh, like maybe a vote for like. Monty, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. You guys can actually vote online now. And I think the reason why they're voting online instead of, like, the usual... The usual voting system is might be because of what happened in Big Brother 23, which many people really thought Derek X was going to win, but he actually lost by a narrow margin to Tiffany. Which I will say, Tiffany is very deserving. But, man, I think CBS really really wanted Derek X to win. A lot of us wanted Derek X to win America's Favorite House Guest. I wanted him to win America's Favorite House Guest. But, you know, and the winner of the America's Favorite House Guest will not only win, like, 50 grand, but also get a chance to compete in a love reality TV show sponsored by CBS. Apparently it's about they're trapped on a boat and they're finding love for some reason. I don't know. So, yeah. After the, after the after the eviction ceremony, in the next episode, they're going to compete for the first part of the head of household. And in the final head of household, there's usually like three parts. One for where all, all the final three get to compete in. Part two would be the two players who lost the first part of the HOH. And the third part would be the winners of the first two parts of the HOH. So yeah, the winner of the first part of the HOH would not compete in the second part of HOH because they're automatically moving on to the final round. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, as you guys remember that the the veto competition was did take place on was shown on was shown on Sunday instead of the typical Wednesday because of the premiere of Survivor 43 and the Amazing Race, which funnily enough also has Derek X and Claire from BB23 as well. So, yeah, that, that's always fun. But, um, yeah, I, I think that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.